Yeah. It's a lot of mess. I'm sorry. Okay, you just ask me whatever you want. I speak nothing but the truth. Jose, uh, tell us about the plane crash. Oh my God. Dreams are my life. My dreams give me a reason to wake up. Of course, there's no dream without sacrifice. Pero, no van a qué pasó. Pero, el avión se estrelló. Nos salvamos. Dios no quería que me muriera hoy. I believe in God, I believe in the universe. But, come on, he's so busy to be like, yo, God, send me a Grammy. You wanna get a Grammy? Well, go and work hard to get it. <laughs> I do believe in miracles, but you gotta make them. You gotta get your shit together, keep working, and then the Grammy will come. You run, you'll be fit. You eat too much, you're gonna be fat. I'm not a magician, it's cause and effect. If you work hard, you will achieve whatever you want. You gotta sweat that shit. If you don't sweat it, you won't get it. Everything that I'm living now, I created. I'm living my own dream. Get ready for change! Go, guys! Machica, 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 machica. Mama, vamos, vamos a romper. No hay tiempo pa' perder. De la disco pa'l motel. Mama, la que Ana Velo. Baile todo le hacen coro. Te deja marcado como el zorro. No pierdo mi tiempo, es oro. Todo me lo gasto, no ahorro. Machica, 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 machica. Music came into your life? Well, how music came into my life? Mm, well, you gotta go to Colombia and let's show you around. I always loved music since I was a little kid. When I was like 12, I remember just like grabbing a mop, pretending that it was a guitar, and you know, like perform for all my friends. I didn't know at that time that I wanted to be an artist. I was just like, feeling right when I was doing something with the music. And then I started like, listening to a lot of Nirvana and Metallica, and I was like, wait, I want to play these songs. That's when I started playing guitar. Since that day, I haven't stopped. <laughs> And Colombia is a, is, a, is a country full of music. So it was just in the air, especially in Medellin. So I was a little kid, you know, I was, was watching my dad singing and just like vibing and, you know, my mom too, she loved to dance. But in Colombia, de pronto, era utilizado mucho como para luchas verbales entre los mismos barrios, las mismas comunas. Eh, un repentista, sí, lo que llaman freestyle, y por tres años consecutivos eh, fue campeón nacional de, de freestyle, o sea, una persona con un repentismo impresionante. At the beginning, I, I never wrote, I always was freestyling. At that time, you know, I, I was studying and I was taking dogs out, walk them around, and I was painting houses. When I was doing all this, you know, when my sneakers were melting, in the rooftop of the hit that was there. I was just like, so good, I'll be an artist one day.
when I'm in New York, I don't have, you know, all these people that work for me when I'm in Colombia or, or, or everywhere. Even though here, still people recognize me, but it's a different vibe. And I like to walk around, and I like to walk like blocks and blocks for hours. I have to understand that I'm a human being and that I need to live like anybody in the world. You know, just walk around, drink coffee, you know, watch people in the streets, you know, like doing my own breakfast. I go out and play soccer. Take the trash out. The simple things that make me so happy. Just the fact that I'm in this music business is a movie. And if I leave a movie, I want to leave a real movie, not a fake movie. I don't pretend to be nobody else. When I'm here by myself, you know, I'm just Jose. I don't want to be skipping. How we got it? I have it. Can it go straight up? It can go straight down. But you want to play the entire album? No, but I want to. I least the intro has yeah. to show me that it's you like consecutive. I'm going to be next to you, you say, 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 you so I was my own manager, I was my own promoter, I was my own everything, you know? I remember that I used to close J Bobbin deals and I was like, hey, hey, how are you? Uh, it's Jose, this is J Bobbin's manager. This is the prize and you know, let's do this. And it was dope because I've been to everything about this music business. I was just feeling like super stressed because I was like, you know, I'm getting crazy. I was getting crazy, you know, doing all these things at the same time. I had to create the movement in Colombia, you know, and I, and I think I did. I'm a YouTube artist. That's how I started going to different places. Hicimos nuestro primer video. Un videoclip como de 700 dólares, yo creo. Pero fue el primer video que alcanzó, no sé, 20, 30 millones de visitas. Estoy hablando en el 2010. My early videos on YouTube, like, sin compromiso, ella me cautivó tranquila. At that time, I didn't have a label. Everything was independent, so YouTube helped me a lot. They can see you and hear you. People can really get to know the artist in a different way, in a different perspective. That's the way people start getting to know me in Romania. You know, I remember my first concert after my country was Romania. You know, and it was thanks to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> no, pero sabes que era muy gracioso cuando yo llevaba Cuando él me acompañaba a los conciertos de tres pesos, llamaba la atención y ni siquiera era el artista. Like he was just there, like next to me. And to, like at the second show, me decían como que, hey, next time, nah, Jay Bobby, nah, nah, you boy, nah. Tell him to if he coming with you, tell him to be like backstage, like, because you know, salíamos de los conciertos y la gente le pedía fotos a él. Firmas a él y, y los otros era, tres eran como que. Pero yo no cantaba, ¿no? No cantó nada, o sea, él era solo ahí. Ni siquiera canción era grabada. O sea, Ni siquiera, o sea. Y la gente. En Santorini, cuando te dijeron que eras Ricky Martin, como un montón de fans. Oh my God. Eso fue increíble. Ellos sabían que era algo. Uy, Santorini, Santorini. Esta fue su primera presentación. Valía cover 5 mil pesos. Pues sí, es una exageración. Hace 12, 13 años era mucho dinero para un joven. 5 mil pesos. Esta foto también me encanta porque él es la de él y su padre. Y me fascina este símbolo, la energía, que yo también la llevo tatuada aquí, la familia. 
la energía que me parece lo más importante. Tener una familia y involucrar toda nuestra energía en conservarla. Que aunque hayan diferencias, siempre vamos a estar ahí. Estos son otros premios. El primer CD de J Balvin lo compré yo a su papá cuando trabajé en mi empresa que nadie lo conocía ni la mamá y entonces yo se lo compré al papá que lo promocionaba a él aquí está Dan I remember one day that one of my friends like invited me to Coachella and I wrote her back like the day I go to Coachella is because I'm gonna kill it on stage and it happened just like that please give it up for J Saturday on Beyonce and Sunday on College Beat with Bad Bunny. He's a powerful Latin gangster. Jose has been a huge leader in crossover collaboration, and I think Jose has broken down a lot of those paradigms. And of like, just because it's Spanish doesn't mean it can't be global. You know, he stayed really true to himself in that sense. Simplemente es como que, que más gente tenga la posibilidad como que de, de disfrutar o de bailar la música de nosotros. O sea, José ha tenido unas canciones que le han dado la vuelta al mundo y, y no necesariamente tienen que saber a reggaetón como tal, pero sí llevan ese patrón y llevan esa identidad. Entonces yo creo que, que eso logramos hacer con este último álbum que, que, que fue Vibras, para mí. ya yeah. That's what I call redefining mainstream because we are opening people's mind. Who said that you have to sing in English to be global? Their cinema lyrics and they don't speak Spanish is just amazing. We're showing the world that it's not about your language. They listen to me in Lithuania, in Africa, in Egypt, and they don't understand what I'm saying, but they feel it, they feel the vibe. That's why my album is called Vibras, Vibes. Music is the universal language. That's why I always try to just send positive vibes. <laughs> I want to be a living legend. Greatness is not about who are you. It's more about how you treat people. I don't do no drugs. I don't have no alcohol problem. I'm super healthy. When I was like 18, I knew that I was going to live what I'm living right now. So I was like, I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready to be in a clearer mindset. So I started meditating. Meditation has helped me a lot. It's just 20 minutes every day that make you feel stronger, make you feel like more relaxed. You can see things more clear. Just the fact to be alive is a lot of stress. When you meditate, you go down to the ocean and get the calm and relax by the waves are moving. It's a blessing to meditate, and everybody can do it too. The most beautiful things in life are for free. Happiness, friends, and family. Music is really powerful, and it really goes beyond anything. It's a superpower that we have. And we have to be we are careful with what we do with it. To me, being successful is when you inspire people to keep dreaming.
dreams of my life. Every dream is cool. Like, you want to have a big jet, go ahead. But it's not about just luxury and money. It's cool if, besides that, you have another dream, like, I want to have a family, I want to be a better person. Keep the balance of your dreams. I want people to follow their own dream and not what the world wants for them. You get me? Hasta el amanecer